worst fun I've had in a long time uh, developing a business. Um, private jets are a serious business. They're fun business. Um, we are selling one third of our company. Uh, the ask is about a million bucks, and that's the opportunity I'd like you to consider. Uh, from here, we're going to go do a token offering. Um, we can talk about the specifics of that in a second, but this is likely to be our terminal round of equity. So that's what's in it for you. Uh, why should you care and how do you get a return on your money? Let's do that first and we can talk about all the fun crypto things and airplane things uh, in a second. So for those of you that don't know, uh, which is it probably everybody except for a handful of people, there's 14,000 private planes in the United States. I learned this relatively recently when putting together the board of directors for this business uh, and the executive team. Uh, 4,000 of them charter, 10,000 of them will always be private. Of those 4,000, and the, we're, these numbers are going towards how you get your return on your money. Of those 4,000, they fly in the US approximately three and a half million hours. Okay. The average cost per hour is about $5,000 because you got a number of people flying on the aircraft typically at any given time. Um, three and a half million times 5,000, which we can all do in our heads, of course, uh, is $17.5 billion. Okay. So it's big. There's a lot being burned in the air. How does that help us? Well, if we can achieve with a blockchain-based booking platform, that's the first part of the business, about 6% share of that market, that's a billion dollars in bookings. Why is that credible? An acquaintance of mine started something called the Marquee Jet Card, and in four years went from zero to $800 million of sales because he had 4,000 people paying $200,000 per customer. So you should take that as credible because it's been done before. Now we're doing something a little different, but the main point is the numbers are big. Okay. Of those 6%, what does that actually mean in terms of booking on something like an Expedia or a blockchain booking platform for private jets? Well, there's 6,300 landings per year, or so, or excuse me, per day, correction, per day. Uh, so 6% of 6,300 is about 378 landings. Okay. So if we can get 300 or 400 people to book on our platform out of 6,300, we're somewhere. And that means we're doing a billion dollars in bookings. Okay. Well, what do we charge? Well, in the private jet industry, there's about a 7% commission that's charged on average. I know it's a lot of numbers, but it comes to a point in just about two more seconds, which is if we charge 4%, that's a $40 million revenue figure. This is largely a software business. We'll talk about airplanes in a second. But most software businesses do about a 15 or 20% net margin. That's about 8 million bucks on the bottom line. I think we can get there in about three years. And in this market with a growing software business, particularly one in a sexy industry like this, 8 million times about a 20 multiple or a 5% capitalization rate gets you to $160 million. Okay, so I've used the first few minutes of my time showing you analytically how I get from a $3 million valuation today to $160 million valuation in about three years. Not bad in terms of return on capital. There's risk, but there's also a clear path to completion. Okay, let's talk about the presentation because you're all looking at this and wondering what comes next, right? Um, how are we gonna do it? Two ways. First, you come to our platform, you pick from one of 4,000 jets, you tell how you wanna fly or you find something that's empty and you send us token, you send us private jet coin. Or you call us on a bespoke basis and you'll pay full commission, but we'll take whatever crypto that you might have that exchange traded. That's the first and most obvious part of the business. But the second and less obvious part of the business is that we intend to lease and have a very firm relationship with HondaJet, six to eight of their aircraft to put on a fractional program. That means that when you come to our platform, there's always something interesting for you to look at. It's very low cost. You can charter what you want to charter, put in your request, on let's say what would normally be a Citation XLS Plus, which is by the way, the most commonly landed private jet in the country, it seats about six people, um, but it won't go coast to coast. And you'll see the price of a Honda jet alongside that. Honda loves that. Uh, they like the fact that we're promoting their innovation. And for those of you who don't know, a Honda jet is a regional jet, uh, which goes about 1,400 nautical miles. So it'll go from Westchester Airport down to Florida, uh, but it won't go coast to coast. I've flown on it twice this month, which was a lot of fun, by the way. Uh, and it seats four people super comfortably, uh, six if you really jam it, and then there's two pilots. 
So most of the time, airplanes are traveling with two to three people. So it's a great asset. It's what I would call the right asset for the right mission since the average flight in the United States is an hour and a half. Okay. Um, so you've got the platform where you send your token to book a jet. You can call us and send us crypto, or you can buy Honda jet service from us in a block. Right. So when our Honda jets aren't being used by you, the block buyer of, let's say, 50 hours, they're on the platform being used by other people. Because there's an old saying in the aviation business, uh, which is that friends don't let friends buy aluminum tubes. <laughs> so if we're, if we're going to have assets, which we think is the, the secret sauce to this, is, is the combination of the two in the right size, you know, we have to fly the wings off it quite literally. Um, okay. There is one major question in my mind that sort of rings out now that I've kind of shown you the map, which is more or less easy to follow, and the idea that having jets on lease and having a platform makes sense together. Okay. And that's why do we need a blockchain for this? Why isn't this just net jets with a crypto payment function? Fair question. Uh, and there's a really cool answer. I almost wanted to leave with it, but now that you're all aviation experts, I think you'll get it. Um, and that is that right now, when you go to get points from your airline, they want to trap those points. By using a blockchain, we can create membership rewards or sky miles for the entire private jet industry. Why and how? Well, think of it this way. When you have sky miles, you go to the airport, you go to the airline, you put your cash up, and then you fly, you use up all your cash, and then you get points at the end in a separate ledger, right? If you fly with us, there's a way that we can actually give you private jet coins, which are usable on the 4,000 other planes in the industry. But the only reason that that's a rational thing is that we actually have customers who are buying block hours from us. The only way you get membership rewards or you get points for flying is you're a block hour customer of ours. Right? That, that's it. But once we've started that engine, once we've asset backed effectively that activity, uh, it's, f it's for real, it counts. Um, Otherwise, you can just go private jet coins, go on the platform, pay 4% commission instead of 7% commission, and that's why you're using the currency. Right, so there's a reason that you use the private jet coin to cut your commission, and there's a reason you get private jet coins for free if you fly with us as a member, and you can take advantage of those two things. So we're partnered with the second largest operating uh, operator of private jets in the United States. So as I stand here today, I can deliver any asset of almost any kind within 24 hours. So if anybody at the end of this presentation would like a Challenger 350 delivered to Las Vegas to go fly to wherever you'd like to go, speak to me, we can deliver. Um, so uh, we're of course constructing the platform and part of the reason for our raise is to hire a CEO who we've recruited uh, after a lot of work, who's been in the business for 20 years, uh, works for a household name in private aviation, uh, as much, I, I am the finance guy, I, uh, a crypto community member. This is actually our second blockchain project. Uh, the first one was largely theoretical. This one is very much about bringing blockchain to industry. And it's going to bring blockchain to industry in our humble view, uh, and largely by getting these coins or these miles, um, you know, accepted and used. There's no place in the industry you can pay for time on a private jet and you actually get more time. That doesn't happen. Uh, private jet service on average is for 47 to 62 year old um, males who reside in the United States. That's who it is. Um, and nobody really in our view or a, a handful, uh, I see some competitors in the room, I tip my hat to you, um, is really addressing this market directly except for a handful of people. There's been a two or three hundred billion dollar oil strike in cryptocurrency fundamentally, uh, and a lot of people should be flying, flying private that are not. So uh, let's just do a quick jump through the rest of this. There's some data here I don't want to bore you with, but the main idea is it's a good time to be in the market. Um, this talks a little bit about more what we've explained. We're on ERC-20. Uh, we can always pitch for to a better or different protocol if that becomes the future, but so far Ethereum looks good. Um, uh, this is more just support of the data. Those are kind of aircraft that are landed. Uh, this is all available to anyone who would like to have it. Um, there is competition. It's traditional size of the market. Um, 
you know, what our product is. Um, again, oh, one last uh, final word on who's on the bus. Who's on the bus? Well, uh, the gentleman who ran the Federal Expre Express Fleet, oh, that's me, I'm a uh, finance guy. Uh, there's our developer, uh, lead developer from the Technion in Israel, the custodian of 11 blockchain projects, wonderfully talented. Um, that's hard to read, but that's the gentleman who ran the Federal Express fleet for the better part of 20 years. It's the largest, one of the largest airlines in the world, over 700 aircraft plus 40 private. He and I went to the Honda Jet factory together to negotiate a fleet deal. Uh, we have a, a, a woman here, my friend and former neighbor, who sold 1,000 private airplanes in her career. Uh, Brenda Pally DeVoy, former head of sales for Embraer. Bearing in mind there's only 14,000 planes in the fleet in the United States. She's quite, uh, quite well connected. Um, to Israelis, we are Tel Aviv based. I should make that clear. And we're having a, we will have a presence in the Bay Area as well. Um, I'm from the Israeli blockchain community, by the way. I live between New York and Israel. I'm on the board of Blockchain Israel, if anyone uh, wants to talk afterward. Uh, those are gentlemen who are uh, from the Israeli Air Force, wonderfully talented uh, logistics experts and fighter pilots. Um, a security expert and dear friend of mine from the Israeli Special Forces. Personal security is very important in private aviation. Um, and lastly, the inventor of the centralized database in private aviation. Um, he did a joint venture with Avinod later on, but he knows all about databases in private aviation. And that's us. That's it. I think that's my time. Is that right, or do I have more time? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Questions? I have a question. What? Yeah. You say there's 14,000 planes. Yes. Will that grow when we make better use of them? No. Actually, the way that the industry works is that there are 10,000 private, private planes that right. have nice upholstery that don't need to be char want to be chartered. In order to charter an aircraft, you have to get uh, special insurance. You have to get FAA certification. And ultra high net worth individuals often don't want that extra cost and that extra hassle because it's, it's theirs. And so there is that limit to it. Yeah. 4,000 is enough, though. That does almo that's almost 90% of the, of the hours flown in the United States today. So, so just to clear, you're going to buy a whole fleet yourself of Honda jets? Absolutely not. Uh, we're okay. going to lease six to eight aircraft lease. on a regional fraction program. Okay. Um, you know, we expect to make eight to ten million dollars, bottom line, on the platform business by responsibly growing it. Aviation is something we intend to strictly control. That's, we'll make a million bucks on the bottom line on those planes, but they make the magic happen for the platform. So it's OPP, other people's planes. Well, m largely, yeah. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah. How do you start an airline without a plane? Blockchain. <laughs> but you got to have some. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Next up.